Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. Jersey Joe Archino back here. And as we've become so accustomed to seeing this season, the Golden State Warriors and Stephen Curry especially, putting on just another clinic last night, defeating the Washington Wizards 134-121. to But if you've watched ESPN so far today, you've seen SportsCenter, you've been online, you kind of know Stephen Curry, as he has done so many times this season, has once again put on such a performance for us 51 points 11 of 16 from the three points uh, from three points made he was one shy of tying the NBA record seven of those threes were in the first quarter so when I say Stephen Curry put on a clinic I think you can take my word for that but my initial thought the second that I, I, I watched the Cleveland Cavalier game and then I was able to watch the rest of the Warriors game, as soon as this game ended, the first thing that kind of came to my mind is this is a statement by Curry about the Kevin Durant rumors. There, It's not a coincidence that after all these KD rumors to the Warriors uh, started coming out that Curry comes out and puts a game like this together. Now, Curry is the only player in the NBA this season to have multiple 50-point games now after last night. But I really think, you know, there was an interview just the other day, which is kind of funny, where Curry was asked about the Durant thing without directly being asked about it. I'll give you the question. The question was phrased this way. I won't make you say his name, but there are rumors your team might pursue a a certain star free agent. You guys are 41-4. and This was before last night. Or 42-4 and or whatever. Do you hear those rumors and think, wait a second, how much better could we possibly get? Why change anything? And so that was the ESPN writer who phrased this question to Curry. And Curry's answer, very interesting. He kind of said, not in those terms. I hear that stuff, and it's human nature to be interested in it. I'm very comfortable with our team in obviously being 44-4. and four. Now, they're 45-4 and four after beating the Wizards last night, so this uh, took place before that game. But still, Curry's words there mean a lot, carry a lot of weight. I'm very comfortable with our team. I think that was the biggest thing that I initially thought of is, do the Warriors really need Kevin Durant? Or does Kevin Durant need the Warriors to win a championship? Right now, this league is Stephen Curry's. It has been Kobe Bryant's for a while. LeBron James took it over. And even though LeBron is still playing at at, at the ultra-competitive level, we always know, and he's hands down the best, most complete player in basketball, it is Stephen Curry's league now. It's just the way it is. The run-and-gun, three-point shooting, ultra-competitive scorer that he is. It is his league now. And I think... With all those rumors of Kevin Durant going there, Curry kind of wanted to go out there and say, this is my league. I don't need Kevin Durant on my team. My team is 45-4 and four now. My team is going to win another back-to-back title. And most likely, I mean, we haven't seen a three-peat in a while in the NBA. I really think that they're going to three-peat. I, I just think... You look at where all the other teams are in the NBA right now. There are a lot of good ones, but I don't see anybody just staying on the floor in a seven-game series and beating this team. Again, one of the things that's so difficult to do in the NBA is build depth with youth. A lot of championship teams you see have depth, but... It's at the expense of the youth sometimes. A lot of the depth is maybe a veteran guy at the end of his career kind of coming on and taking the veteran minimum because they want to win a ring. But the Warriors don't really have that. They are totally young from every phase. It all starts back to Bob Myers in in the draft a a couple of seasons ago where he was able to get Draymond Green, Harrison Barnes, and Festus Zeely. They're able. They don't have to rely on veterans. They have young legs. They travel well. And again, of course, they just are such an overwhelming offensive presence. Now, even in this game last night, the war, the Wizards are a disastrous defensive team. The Warriors aren't a great defensive team, but they are just too fast, too quick, and they score too quickly, and that really makes up for that. But in that regard, going back to the Kevin Durant thing is, I just don't think, I mean, of course he makes you a better basketball team. I mean, if you, so, uh, uh, obviously the salary cap is most likely going to rise, so that would make bringing him in easier. You'd probably have to maybe part ways or try to trade a guy like Andre Godala, but I mean, 
I just think you have to ask the question is, do you need him if you're the Warriors? And I think Stephen Curry kind of came out in this game against the Wizards. I mean, and right off the bat, like I said at the beginning of the segment, he had seven threes in the first quarter. Stephen Curry made a statement last night. This is my team. This is my league. We are fine the way we are. And I think... For the most part, that's understandable. Would Durant and Curry be able to play together? I would say yes, because by its nature, this Warriors team is very unselfish. Um, Everybody, it it would be easy for the egos in this team to get in the way because a lot of these players are similar. Klay Thompson and Curry, it would be easy for these guys not to get along because they both are tremendous scorers. They both play very similar ways, but it never gets to that. I think everybody on that team kind of understands, even Clay Thompson, who's making a lot of money and has got a big contract. This is Curry's team. We will follow Stephen Curry, and we just have to all be in. We have to play collectively together, and if we do that, we're going to win multiple championships in this league. And They look like there is no slowing them down whatsoever, but they're chasing the records left and right. I mean, everything right now in the NBA revolves around the Golden State Warriors. They are the most fun team to watch in the league. They sell the most jerseys. They are the epitomization of the Golden Standard in basketball right now. And I think the the, the Durant rumors are just fueling even more, adding more interest to the team because I think Kevin Durant is very likable. He always has been. Um, He's always been a very truthful guy who's always been unselfish by his nature. I mean, We go back to his MVP acceptance speech a couple seasons ago where he he just teared up, gave it all the credit to his teammates. I mean, he is the kind of guy you would expect to fit in with a guy like Curry, who, again, very unselfish by nature, very talented scorer. They would play well together. But I still think, you know, when you're a guy like Curry and when you're in a position when you're 45-4, and you're going to win another title this season, and most likely you really could win the next couple conceivable championships. Why do you need Kevin Durant? And I think Curry kind of came out last night and he kind of made that statement where this is my league, this is my team, we don't need Kevin Durant to win. Obviously, I'm the, I think... He always has the potential to go off like this, but I think last night was more of a statement about all that stuff than anything. But we will certainly continue to follow this Kevin Durant thing. Uh, It's kind of going to continue to pick up steam, I'm sure, because, again, the Warriors just click, they move the needle. People always want to hear talking about the Golden State Warriors because they are fun. They really are. It is a fun group. It is incredible fun to watch in the NBA, which I think has lost a little bit of luster in a lot of the older fans' mind. I think it's much more popular among younger audiences. The Warriors are kind of helping smooth that thing over a little bit because, again, the older generation is so much more used to watching kind of the unselfish players where the game is kind of played a little bit more physically. And while the Warriors are not a physical team, it's a very easy team to get behind. And I think that kind of helps smooth things back over with the older fans. But certainly, we'll continue to watch the dominance of the Golden State Warriors. It's almost all-star time, and you know they will be reloaded and ready for that playoff run. And I've been adamant for a while that I think we're going to see a rematch of the finals last season. I think the Cavs, although they have their faults of their own, will be back in the finals just because the Eastern Conference doesn't have stiff enough competition for them. And then the Warriors are just in a class of their own in a seven-game series, not picking anybody to beat them. Didn't want to do it. I thought maybe the Cavaliers, I thought at the beginning of the season before things kind of played out the way that they did, I thought LeBron was going to get that title. But, you know, the way that we've seen the course of the season play out, I think you'd be crazy not to think the Warriors are going to win another title and then another one after that. But, you know, we will certainly see what happens there. Jersey Joe Archino here with the Sports Vault. You can follow me on Twitter at Joe Archino on Instagram, Jersey underscore Joe underscore Archino. And I'll be back very soon.